Hey everybody, it's North again with a late video this time. Uh, this is it for the first time you're seeing it. This is what I've been wanting to have since the build started. Here's the sand rail that I've been talking on and on and on about. I don't like the bandit fronts on it because it bottoms out and there's still travel left. So I'm going to probably try going with maybe two eights in the back and slash ribs in the front because I want the back bigger. But here it is, the reason for the rollback. And what the rollback, I'd be happy if that was the ride height of it when it was done, but it's probably gonna be taller. So, of course we did the uh, sand rail up in the Cal RC theme. Everything's black and white. Got that white RPM housing. The Cal Spot paint job, which if I may, I say, uh, I did a good job on myself. I got my uh, wide track kit on here still. The power strokes, the castle system. Those are Panther paddles for the back. I like them. It's a shame that they're going to be, I don't know, maybe I'll just buy some slash ribs for the front and uh, see what's what with that. But I think it'll look better with bigger back tires and front tires. So that's that right now I still have the slash or the uh, yeah, stock slash servo in it I don't know if you can see in there uh, I've got I don't think I don't have stuff the way I like yet is my antenna I don't know where to put it or how to run it I don't want it to get ruined but I learned the hard way with the transmission that this is not for the asphalt it starts snapping stuff inside the tranny when it gets too much traction with this much weight so there's that. All right, what I've done with the rollback, which isn't much because I've been very busy, is I've worked out how I'm going to actuate the bed, which I'll show you in a minute, and I've made the transmission mount for it, finally, which I've been going on and on and on about making. Now i got to figure where my front axle is going to be. So I can get a good driveline angle for the front axle. So I'm thinking this is going to be set back, probably. Drop from. Shut up. Probably as close to the back of the body as possible, but I still have to leave room for the rear shaft to come out. I have a piece of angle here as a cross brace, so I'm going to probably have to notch it so the drive shaft can go through it. And there's probably going to be, have to be a carrier, which RC four wheel drive makes. Like, luckily, uh, I'm thinking about I'm I'm going to be cutting the front bumper off and doing more of a, a wrecker type of front bumper, making it myself. I think that'll be pretty awesome. Uh, so there we go. We're getting yeah one step closer. It's going to look cool. These are always messed up in the videos. So. So as far as the bed actuation is going to go, I've been thinking and I keep coming up with like, oh, that's a great idea, but it won't work. And then, oh, that's a great idea, but it won't work. So I've been rethinking and refining my ideas. You guys saw the stuff I bought the last time. That's 90% of how I'm going to do it, except I had said that the uh, tilt servos were all going to ride forward to back. Well, I really thought about that. And if you think about that and break it down, if your tilt servos are going with your length servos, or, you know, with your with your whole body, when they tilt, when you start pulling back in, if you don't tilt down first, it's going to fight against that servo, and I don't want that. I want to be able to tilt as I want and move as I want. So I figured something out. I'm going to. I've been looking at the rollback I drive at work. I'm going to run angle inside of here so it sticks down here that's what the bed's actually going to ride on it's going to be a carriage that sits still and the bed will slide back and forth on that the part that sticks down from the angle right about here i will mount two servos to linkage and as they turn the leverage so anytime no matter where i'm at in the bed travel i can tilt because that carriage will be there they'll also 
double as you know, us to set up a bed lock setup like like a rollback has so that when it comes all the way to head it can't start bouncing it's sitting there kind of you know kind kind of tight not ridiculous or nothing but I have also worked out line this up I've worked out the actuation for the front to back and now that I've got the system for the tilt set up all I gotta do is get working. Okay, so this is what the bed's gonna ride on. And I'll have a cross member going across to the inside of the bed that's sitting on top of the frame weight work I'm talking about that'll make it tilt. This will be in the center. So this will be centered with the with this continue rotation servo at the end of it. It'll be chopped off with the coupling, holding it right here. So I'm gonna have it set up with the radio that I got from Kevin Martin. Uh, I'm going to have steering and throttle on one stick, and I'm going to have the bed controls on the other stick. So when I hit the stick one way, the bed will go out. Go ahead and hit it. Now, I think that's speed-wise, that's all right. right. So, and, then, and then the undercarriage, you'll be able to see the undercarriage of the bed, which is where the tilt servos will be mounted. So once it's out to here, it'll tilt. And then, you know, we'll have the winch on it so it can winch up. And then when we're done, it'll, you know, we'll start coming back up with it. Go ahead and show it coming back in. If I can get the servo to work that fast, that'd be good. I don't know if I am, though. And right about there. there. So, like I said before, this will be the one end. It'll have a lock nut and it'll ride in a pillow block. This, this end will ride in a pillow block also, but it'll have the servo on the end. So as it's riding in this pillow block, go ahead and go out again. This will hold still. Like always, when I do a video, it's followed by a contest. I have the Cow RC mats back now, and I have a couple more to give away. Hopefully, while well, I'm giving the last one away, that is the last video. So, I'll like make. when I always do one of these videos, I give away Cower Steam Mat from a contest. There it is. That's the one somebody's going to win this time, this month. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the lateness of the video. Uh, things have just been really hectic and really busy. Uh, I've got ideas for the contest. I'm going over with the other admin. So we're gonna figure out what's what and get that posted ASAP so you can win yourself one of these. And again, like always, thank you to Cal RC for doing this. And I, I'm showing my appreciation with my sand rail. Definitely got something to do with it. And I hope you like it, Heath. Also, Dick Edward asked me to say good day to all the Australians, so Good day. Is that an Australian accent? I don't even know. Okay. Thank you.